this stuff so you can oh. come in. Mm -hmm. It feels like it. I don't feel like it. it has been. I think the last one we did was when we made the cake. I think. I don't remember how long that was. Alright, let's see. Who's in? Who's in? What's up, y'all? Been a long time. Yeah, I think some people are still coming in. Yeah, yeah, we'll do one now. Alright. I don't trip on it. That'll be my look. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I love watching you cook, she said. I appreciate it, y'all. Definitely appreciate it. Whoever's yeah. in here, y'all, please say hey. Where y'all from? What y'all up to? Yeah, where's everybody from today? Antoine said hey. Trent said hey. What's up, y'all? What's up, Trent? What's up, everybody? Watching you on a work break for Zoom. We got right. Phoenix, Arizona. What's up, Arizona in the house? If y'all mind, hit that like, that thumbs up button. We're going to make some uh, some pralines, y'all. We got, mm, we got so uh, quite a few orders to do, so I said we'll just here go live and make some, you know? Texas is in the house. What's up, Texas? I don't know if y'all have ever had pralines before, or if any of y'all have visited out here, but this is like a really famous candy type thing. Candy, it's not a cookie. It's kind of like, almost like old fashioned fudge, but like a little bit, maybe like in a harder, but it's not crunchy. I don't know. Right. I don't know if I'm explaining it too well. So everybody getting into it this Friday, y'all. We got a quarter. What's up, Nate? Nate's in the house. Nate, what's up, man? We got Virginia. We got uh, Chicago. We got Chicago. Idaho. Oh man, this has been crazy around here. All right, y'all. So that's what we want to feel like in the beginning stages here. Yeah? Oh, your dad's in here. What's up, Pop? You on your lunch break? Yeah, it's lunch break. We got Bama. What's up, Alabama? How are you guys doing? You used to live in Gulfport. I hadn't okay. been back in Arizona 25 years. I still remember those Pralines. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we're just making some orders. I uh, I had them off the website forever, but I'm doing a bunch of them, like 300 of them for a wedding. So I told Sarah, we'll go ahead on and put them back up, and they've been selling. Yeah. Everybody, I, that's where I started off, you know what I'm saying, making my pralines. I'm known for making them. So I uh, had a bunch of orders to do, so like I said, we just decided to come jump on and see what everybody's up to today. All right, y'all. We got Baton Rouge. We got LaPlace. What's up, L-Town? We got Stafford, Texas. What's up, Stafford, Texas? Uh, Minnesota. Okay. Another from Chicago. Where do you get your crawfish from? A lot of crawfish, y'all. I mean, I get them anywhere where it's cheap. I tell y'all what, uh, no, the day after uh, Easter, shit, like, what's about the day after Easter? They had uh, the crawfish the day before was like $4 a pound a lot, or three sixty nine, dollars something like that. And the very next day, y'all, they had sacks of crawfish, and they probably still do. For twenty dollars a sack, bro. Yeah. So whoever's got the deal, that's where I go get them from. Twenty dollars a sack. Yeah, I mean, like we have out here, we have where we're at seafood shops, like like ballrooms on the corner. Yeah, bro. like it's like within a half a mile radius, they have them all around us. So it's kind of just it's very competitive. So it's whoever's got the best deal, got good crawfish. There are some places we avoid that are just. Notoriously had like real dirty crawfish. Like Michael Seafood, y'all and Justin Highway, man, they just went down there. They just they sucked. used to be bomb. They used to be the place to go to. They just suck now. What's up, Houston, Texas? We got California in here. What's up, Cal? What's up, Texas? We got Indiana, South Bend, Indiana. What's up, Indiana? We're going to Philly and New York, y'all, in July. And DC. Who's going to DC? You. I'm Bill up. said he's taking us to DC. He's in Philadelphia, and then we're going to take the train, I think, to New York because it's like two hours away. So, if y'all in Philadelphia, New York, or DC, I'll be in your area. Bro. I'll be in there. He said, yeah. like, he's about, I think he said he's about, or maybe two hours to DC, or maybe it's two hours both ways. I don't he know. He said, I'm going to have to get to uh, New York. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to shoot out there and see what's what out there. 
Washington checking in. So Washington, what's Looking up? Looking forward for more videos. We got yeah. Cincinnati, Florida. So Florida and Cincinnati, y'all. What's up with everybody? Oh, we got Canada. Anybody got some big plans Maryland. this weekend? Trent said, how was your week? Man, I can't complain. I'm ready for a break. We're going to go out tonight and have a few beverages and uh, just chill out, man. We had, uh, you know, been rough with all these kids. And then we had a litter of puppies. Yeah. And then the vet said it was like about four or five puppies, y'all. And then I went to bed because I had like a long day with <laughs> traveling for softball with the kids. So Sarah stayed up while, the, while she was dealing with the dogs and all that, y'all. And like I said, went and got the uh, ultrasound. They said four or five puppies. It was nine puppies. So that was... Oh, thank you. Um, Ron, Rhonda Lays, thank you for the $5, baby. Rhonda Lays, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks thank so much. Thank you. Very nice. Got Ohio, London. Oh, London, Ohio. What's up? Love you, Ralph. Is Ralph watching the Tyson Furry fight? I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm watching. What now, is let's, that? Let's talk, about the, let's talk about the fight with Mike Tyson. What y'all think, bro? Y'all think he uh, was right for punching that person, bro? What? Oh, I see that on the airplane or something. Yeah, a little punch down. Bro. Why he did that? I didn't get to read the article. I, I, from what I understand, the guy was getting in his face. Y'all y'all correct me if I'm wrong. And the guy was screaming and all this. And I think he got fed up. Why was the guy screaming in his face? I, I, I don't know. I just seen the video. I gotta go research this situation. Definitely gotta read. I mean, it's top headlines everywhere. Right? I remember you guys first came to YouTube. Now y'all got 241 subs. Truly blessed. Yeah, it's awesome, man. I tell you. We, got, we, we did. We come a long way. We got like almost a quarter million here. Over 500,000 on TikTok. Like only, I don't do that much on Facebook, but I've been really picking it up lately. So I got like 30 or 40,000 on Facebook. Instagram don't like me too much, bro. I think I got a raggedy 9,000 on Instagram. That's not raggedy. That's a pretty, you should still appreciate them. I appreciate it. I'm just saying Instagram. Oh, right. like your, the algorithm? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Foamy Cobra? What's up, y'all? I can't wait to see y'all in New York. Um, All right. Okay, the dude was messing with him. He deserved, deserved to defend himself. They were on an airplane. Yep. Do you have any plans to come to Florida? Yeah, we're going to, we actually, we're going to come to Florida this summer. We're going to be in Florida. I ain't showing sure yet, but y'all know I put on my page. I'm going to let y'all know we're going to be in, you know, wherever and stuff like that. But we're going to be there. He's got a raggedy 9,000 on Instagram. I mean, everywhere else, hundreds of thousands on <laughs> Instagram don't appreciate me, bro. Oh, God. But I will say, Instagram is kind of like, has, in my opinion, been like, kind of like the the course followers or sub subscribers, or whatever you want to call them, like, that are go like, on each platform. So, it's, the, I find that's why it has stayed smaller for you, because it's kind of been those people that it's like, you know, like they may follow you on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and so they kind of, and because that's kind of where it's like a little. So you're bit saying they're about tired of seeing what the hell I'm saying, bro? What you saying? I mean, they might. They might be like, dude, I see you on YouTube. I don't have to watch you on everything. Oh, oh you burnt yourself. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, oh, I love Pralines. Oh yeah, man. We making. I'll tell you mm -hmm. what, y'all put them on the website. I don't know a couple of days ago. Yeah. And yeah. I think we sold about at least about a good ten orders of them, man. About ten dozen. That's a lot of Pralines, y'all. It's because y'all are humble and genuine. Thank you. But it's all fun, man. It's, it's good times. You know, it's always good times. If you're an anime fan, please check out Hunter and Hunter. Hunter X Hunter. Much love from Las Vegas. Looking all forward right. to your new cooking video. I appreciate he it. He is an anime, an anime fan. I am like totally oblivious to it. Other than our twins are starting to become really into anime. Really Preston is. Preston is, yeah. Yeah. So like that's <laughs> whatever I hear them talk about. I don't never know. Um, Mike did what everyone else would have done with an obnoxious a hole running his mouth. Yeah, I mean that's that's true right now. Tyson got tired of the drunk old dude. Yeah, enough was enough. You know. <laughs> if I were a twelve year old girl, I might get on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, Instagram is something that I am probably on the very least. Me too. Very least. Well, I do a lot of lives on that. Okay? Yeah, except it's for the loosest. Well, hell, they've been blaming me now. I'm yeah, every time life. you go live now, you get shut down. I used to be able to go in there, you know what I'm saying, on tequila Fridays and, and chill out and play music and stuff like that, you know. But uh, they get a little strict on us, too. Yeah. When you come to Arizona? Man, I'd love to go to Arizona. i got to go out there and see Sammy the Bull. Ain't that where he's at, but i got to go visit him. Oh, Lord. got to go see Sammy, bro. You need to hit him up. 
What's up, Philly? We got Scotland. What's up, Philly? I'm, well, we're gonna be in Philly, bro. We're coming to try this food y'all talking about out there. We're gonna be there in July. Me and Sarah will be there. Mike's a monster, but he a fool. He is a fool, bro. But I wouldn't want him to punch me. Not even, not even how he is now, man. Man, that's got to hurt. No. I don't even want him close to the head area. He might take, you don't know what, he took off a year once I might get the news off of something. That boy something else, man. Yes, indeed. But I haven't seen him, I'm going to get my ass beat for sure. Right? <laughs> you know that guy going to sue him, though. Oh, my God. I want to try some chocolate-covered cherry pralines. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know we if I've making, ever had cherry pralines. We were making all kinds of pralines at one time, but it was so hard to keep up with the orders, y'all. Yeah. Because I was doing regular pralines and peanut butter pralines and white chocolate pralines and regular chocolate pralines and rum. Oh, man, they go just too hard, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Miss Mary. Miss Mary's on here. She hey, said, Miss hello to uh, adopt a beautiful family. I need to order pralines for Jay. Please send me a link where I can order. Uh, Miss Mary, I'll text you when we get off. For anybody that would like the link, it's in the description of the live. Y'all can hit, it should be like a link that y'all should be able to click. Right, it's easy, so bro. Right. It's roughthebaker.com, man. You have like, it, it's the easiest. But I don't know. I find every time I say the name of your website or something, it like gets like censored on every oh, platform. Man, they ain't censored, man. They heard what the hell you're saying, man. <laughs> I guess if you wanted an ass whooping, you would have at least want Tyson to do it. Yeah, I guess but you could you know, at least say it was him that did it. If you gonna get your ass beat, you know they're gonna tell they're gonna tell Mike, bro. You know it's illegal for you to do that, so uh, we got to get let him sue you for a while. Get two hundred thousand real quick, minimum. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day. Much love, What's respect. Up? Same to you. Appreciate Thank you for joining. I know we can't. We kind of came in on everybody's lunch break time. It's a good time. Ooh, Brazilian steak. Have we ever tried Brazilian steak? I have not tried Brazilian Rump steak. Rump cat. No. So but, I don't good. know if it's the same thing, but I have been wanting to take you to have a restaurant where, and I want to say, oh, God dang it, I can't remember the name of it. They have, like, Brazilian foods and, like, different types of foods and meats and stuff, and then they come, and it's, like, on right this now. big old, like, yeah. yeah, sitting in it. You, like, carve it at your table. Yeah. Yeah. I think they have one in Baton Rouge and one in New Orleans, like yeah. two different locations. I never knew we even had that. Either. Yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. See, uh, that, that's one thing about New Orleans and Louisiana in general, y'all. It's all like just ninety-nine percent of just Cajun food, Creole food. That's it. Ain't really no. I will say that is one thing New Orleans are. I'm going to just speak for New Orleans and Metairie area because that's what we're most familiar with. We really lack in, like, different cultures. different cultures. Like, And now, mind you, there are some really great bomb places I've heard. Um, like, I've heard of a really great Indian restaurant um, that has the Indian food. I've never tried it. But they're really small and kind of those places that you have to know to go. Everything is so, like... Cajun Creole out here. I really do feel like it's starting to come up. It's starting to come up, but we really do lack in like a multicultural, how do you say it, type of food experience. Cause, and it's crazy because we have so many different cultures here. Like we are a very big mountain pot of people. But food wise, at least in the big city, seems to be just always, I guess, targeted for the tourists. Um, on Canal Street. Oh, wait. Bogo Day C on Canal Street. I don't even know if I said that right before me, but I'm about to screenshot that because I'm about to go look it up. Um, Texas Br Day Brazil. I think that's the name of it. Is that the thing? Is that the name of it? That uh, might have been the name. I'll be lying. Um, hey, everyone. Ralph made barbecue shrimp with your seasoning recipe. It came out so awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Mary said. Yeah, I love the shrimp. I tell you, I love some barbecue shrimp now. Well, someone just asked what your favorite thing is to cook. That's it, y'all. Barbecue shrimp. I love barbecue shrimp. I tell you that right now. Yes, if you're looking to move down south, you will be attacked by mosquitoes. So just get Yeah, they starting to get bad already. Mm -hmm. Already, man. Flies, mosquitoes. And I don't know about everywhere, but Louisiana, you're going to have flying cockroaches during this time. Especially when it's wet and rainy, then they really come out the next day. Um... Ralph, you the man of the channel. Yeah, I appreciate it, y'all. I definitely appreciate that. Let me see if I'm missing it. I've never had barbecue shrimp. I have to make some. You got to make some. Amazing. Barbecue shrimp is amazing. Oh, yeah. I oh, do you it. know what part of Philly we're going to be at, baby? 
Well, my cousin lives. Where's he live? I don't know. I ain't never been to his house. Um, I don't know. <laughs> his cousin lives in Philly, so we're gonna go see him. I'll be lying about y'all. Um, never been out there. I don't know if he's even told us what part because we don't know it, so he might not have ever. Um. Been. He, I feel like he, he told me. I just hey, can't Ginger. Remember. Yeah, he may have. I think I had his address somewhere. So I'm going to look it up and see. Yeah, I ain't sure. Um, I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my community. Under the post that we went, I'm going to tag where I'm going in, in Philly. Because we could, if we got some people out there, we get together and have some beverages, you know? Oh, yeah. Did you find any good spots for us to go to? They well, I got a lot of recommendations. recommendations on that. Well, I'll tell you that right now. Um... By the way, you're one of my favorite cooking channels on YouTube, oh, Top 5 for sure. Definitely appreciate it. We've got horse and deer flies up north. Those are the worst. Ooh, boy, I, tell you. I don't know about deer flies. We do have horse flies. Um, they're not as bad as like regular flies, but you will we got, get horse We got flies. them cow killers out there. What's that? It's a big old... They look like big jumbo ants. I don't know what the cow killers are. I bet y'all got them out there. Oh, the ones that sting, that did that real bad sting on my leg that time? No, but man, you ain't never been hit by one of them, man. I think you're going to go to the hospital if you get some of that. Oh. See that's all with them stupid ants that we have outside? No, these, oh. are, these got orange on them. They're big. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on for me. I'm about to screenshot that too. Because I'm so tired of this regular food. When we go to a restaurant, and I'm going to tell you, the restaurant quality has really, really went downhill lately. We don't even go out to eat no more. It's super it expensive, and the, and the quality has just been terrible. It's, it's been horrible. Who we got any kind of insect you want downtown for real? Anything. The list goes on, but that that's probably, mosquitoes are probably worse. Locusts, they come out. June bugs about to come. We lived in festival love bugs. Couple weeks ago. Look up Coyote Peterson. He has a video getting bit by a cow killer. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know. Sarah talking about she got bit by one. Yeah, like, I didn't know what, what a cow killer is. When you said the big ant. What's it, up, I, Anne Marie? I don't know if it's an ant, but it looks like it. Or some deer flies chew you up. They love to bite the difference between the two. To oh, okay. When we get the horse flies, they were notorious for always coming out of swimming pool when we was kids. And you'd have to hurry up and go underwater and get avoided by getting stung by it or bit, whatever. It's called a velvet ant. Is that it's what it actually is? Actually, a wasp, and the females have no wings. Right above. Mm-hmm. That's dumb. Uh, I want to get your hands on your on your cookbook. How much is it, and how can I get my hands on it? So it's twenty dollars, y'all. It's on the website RalphTheBaker.com. It is up there right now, y'all. Yeah. So his second, okay. So the first cookbook he came out, we only did five hundred printed copies, but there is an ebook version on the website. The second uh, cookbook he did. Is the printed version is still available? And then he has a dessert cookbook. That one's fourteen ninety nine. So you got a few different options depending on what you want. Um, you got the stems that will tell you are worse than deer flies and horse flies down there. Yeah. Hey guys, y'all are fantastic channel. Thanks for spreading Louisiana home cooking to the world. Love from last Yes. Appreciate it. <laughs> Roy said Ralph. <laughs> Ralph greater than Gordon Ramsay. Ramsey, raggedy, bro. I can't tell y'all about Raggedy Ramsey. Y'all seen that Crawford video that fool made, man? It was terrible. I swear to tell you, bro. This terrible. Thank you, Anne Marie. She's been posting the link uh, to the website. So, y'all, that might be easier. Y'all see what happened, y'all? I let them sit a little too long now. Look at that, yeah. I know. You gotta put those to the side for the kids. They're gonna be you all right. You can't put those They're out. They're gonna be all right. Let me turn this hot water on, y'all. Pralines is tricky, man. They just look easy. Up, like, oh, just a couple of ingredients. And they, they tricky. And I've been doing pralines. Man, I've been making praline 20, 25 years at least. You know it's the humidity. Everything plays a factor when you're making pralines, y'all. Everything. It's, it's rough, I'm telling you. What's yeah, up, Memphis? Um, Ralph, would you ever come to a home and cook for a party? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ralph's done that a few times. A few people have hired him to do that. 
Um, yeah, Ralph did a now. corporate event one time. That was a natural disaster. Not on Ralph's end, but... The lake flooded, okay? I can't <laughs> help Mother Nature, okay? We flooded. We got stuck at the lake. The water, just, the wind was blowing 40 knots, okay? It was a beautiful Four day. Guys. It was a beautiful day and everything was going lovely. That Until the wind so started bad. blowing 50 miles an hour, they shut the lake down. Oh, it was just goddamn terrible. Oh my God, it really it was. It was terrible. It yeah. was so bad. Ralph's first time getting hired to cook, he did a uh, big old shrimp boil. Like, he what got like. Oh, crap. Yeah, shrimp. It was shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. And I think, what did, what did he want? Like 50 pounds of shrimp or something? It was a lot. It was a lot. And all the fixings. And so I was like, all right. And the, they were all from out of town. They were doing some kind of conference here. And so I guess at the end, he wanted to get all his guys together, whatever. It was a roof so, um, so, you know, they didn't really have anything in mind. They wanted some outside. And I was like, well. And then at this time, we still had a lot of restrictions here with the panorama, like where you could rent and do and all that. So I was like, look. Best spot, we're gonna go to the lakefront. They got shelters. Which we can nice. like set up everything out there. It's usually beautiful. You get to look at like Poncha Train, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even get to see my problems, bro. You got a raggedy set up, bro. Oh, I could point it down. See yeah, that? and it just went. Yes, uh -uh. Fix my damn camera. You done got it stupid. No. All right, is that better? No, it ain't better. Just fix it. Like it was. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Rob has like a pet peeve of the camera being crooked. All right, wait, I never told him who that, y'all. The Celebrity Chef Fight, Ralph and Randy, 2022. Yep, we could definitely do that. What up, Ralph, my G? What's up, what's up, y'all? That's just the water uh, in the pot right now. I'm gonna get, uh, get some hot water in it. Oh, for me, say I should have you come to my birthday. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, I come all kinds of places now. Bring yeah. the food, bring the pots, bring everything with me now. Who's up, Cat Cat? Come in for a minute, sir, I'm gonna get some water. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get another batch of them. I gotta go about. A lot of problems. Let's see, that means four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, Honestly, eight, don't know how Ramsey has teeth left if I were a cook in his kitchen and he ran his mouth like that to me. He'd be eating through a straw. Let me tell you, Ralph. Now, if it was like a collaboration celebrity, like televised type thing, I guess that's what it's all for. So, and that you already know that's how he's gonna roll on a normal, regular day. If we Ralph was working, oh shit, okay, Ralph yeah. was working for Ramsey in the kitchen. That wouldn't have went too well. You ain't yeah. about to curse him out. That wouldn't have lasted 10 minutes, bro. I told him, you take this restaurant and your ragged ass and hell with this food, bro. Right? You ain't even talking to me ignorant, bro. I don't give a damn. He said, you got a ragged you set up. Y'all right. see how he blames it all on me? Hey, you got to do what you can. You the YouTuber? Got. You do. I ain't rich, man. I got to do what I can with what I got right now. Right, that's why you got raggedy set up with your that's little Walmart ring light. That's how I, in my Walmart shirt, bro. That's how I roll. <laughs> oh my God! What's your favorite baseball team, baby? Man, y'all been lying up on it because baseball ain't big down here in the south, y'all. We ain't got no damn baseball teams. I just watch football, stuff like that, y'all. Yeah, really. baseball really ain't big. Down and, down. Nah, right. man, if you try to like sell anything baseball down in the south, you you gonna be broke, man. Nobody mess with well, I'm sure some people watch, but not too many. Not too many. He uh, said, I'm going to go to Best Buy and get y'all there as a tripod. We got a tripod, ring light type thing. She's just laughing, bro. It's from Walmart, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with Walmart, man. I don't know. Everything I probably got was from Walmart. That's what I'm saying. Bro, I was saying what is Walmart shirt. That's right. The Walmart What's shirt. What's again? Walmart tripod, Walmart shirt. What else, Walmart? I even got that to every milk from Walmart. And that sugar for from Walmart. Great value needs to start uh, paying you. But as much great value we got in this, or equate, equate and great value from Walmart. That's right. Ralph just keeps it real. What's up, Miami? That's the truth, man. Virgo Queen, Ralph is making pralines for, these were for some orders, but it looks like the humidity got to us. We might have to do a redo. I got to do a redo regardless. I got to make a lot of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, Michigan? I've been watching you guys for some time now. It's my favorite channel to watch when I'm thinking on both of you guys are All right, we appreciate it. Walmart has great things. Let's go Red Sox. Alright now. Walmart. Walmart is good in affordability on some stuff. But Walmart gives me anxiety. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, we go to Rouse's a lot. They're kinda expensive. His favorite baseball team is the Saints. 
<laughs> I don't even like that. Y'all know I done told that I started now. Oh, God. So I why is all of you that you start? I done told y'all that story now. Ooh. About the raggedy some guns, man. All right, so what temperature do you take the sugar for the pralines, baby? What temperature should it be at? Mm -hmm. 220 degrees, y'all. 220 degrees at the softball stage? Then you're gonna, yeah, it's going to be a hard ball. Uh, then you're going to... And you're gonna turn around, shut it down, and add your pecans. You gotta mix, mix, mix until it ain't shiny no more, y'all. It, it, it's you're gonna do it a few times. You're gonna have to come now. Ralph does have a few lives where he's actually showing you a lot better, and he does have a video like way at the beginning of his channel. You just put in the Wallace Pralin and drop the bag. Yeah, just search that in, in his. He's got a quick video on it, not a very long. But I will tell you, my advice is get some extra pecans because you're gonna mess up a few, but you're gonna eventually get it. Be all right. Ooh, cornbread cake. You won't get it. We cake. need to do some cornbread cake, cause I'm gonna tell you, we got some cornbread yesterday from Rouse's. That was ridiculous. It was terrible. They looked so good. There was like these little cornbread muffins. Uh, these ain't gonna make the cut. No, these are for the kids. That's terrible. Walmart has bad juju for me, for real, Ginger. It sucks, man. Walmart, y'all is uh, it, it sucks. It, it, it does. I ain't gonna lie. I get my anxiety bad too. Southwest Louisiana area is where you get more in the probate for all the different colleges, LSU, Raising Asians. Now, let me tell you, that is true. So, our daughter had um, playoffs in Lake Charles Tuesday. Ralph went out there with, with the team. And he was like, he called me and he was like, that. Like, softball, baseball, like, it's a race out here. Like, this. What they do out here, like this is like the whole thing over here. Yeah. It's not like that out here. I mean, we enjoy it for the kids, but like. No, they 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 they, they yeah. show up, bro, and it's like just a, that's their thing, and, and that's okay. But uh, I even got this wax tape right here from all my kids. Right, you need to stop to Walmart pays you. Yeah. That's they never right. get you a ma man. Huh. Or like the uh, Asian or something. So you can make so Yeah, hell yeah. You start putting duct tape on these main brands. Right. The bacon. Now everybody gets all the advertisements for free. They ain't got to pay nobody no more, y'all. Well, I'll tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all see on my channel? I used to do shorts. And, uh, okay? And I don't knock nobody that does shorts. If that's your thing, roll with it. But me, y'all, be honest with y'all. Ain't nothing for free, you know what I'm saying? I mean, none of this, nothing's for free. You got to make a couple nickels, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't do shorts no more because, man, you get like, say, like, I don't know, like, like 7 million views on shorts, okay? So, 60 seconds and lower, you get like 7 million views. You hey, might make, fire, yeah, I'm just letting the water brown. You might make like $500, bro, man, screw that, man. Uh-uh, that that's ridiculous. Cause you know what I'm Not saying? Y'all know the price of food out there. You gotta survive somehow, yeah. And so it's like they gave me five hundred or six. It was under six hundred for seven million views. I said, screw this, bro. No more shorts. That's it. Now it ain't gotta go long over a minute, but anything over a minute, at least you could run one commercial, so you could try and cover some of your food. Otherwise, you can have eighty-two million followers and you're not making anything. You know? I mean, maybe if you're rich, you just can afford to just buy everything. Just. <laughs> That'd be different, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Kelly? Last time, uh, oh, look, last time I went to Walmart, a little dog jumped in the car. The dog wouldn't get out. Oh, hell. All right, Foamy. We're going to see you next time. All right, take it easy now. Um, let's see. The shorts is what brought me to you. Yeah, shorts, don't get me wrong now. If you want a lot of followers and stuff like that, shorts are good, but... Thank you, Jeffrey. You know, y'all, these, these, these social media platforms are just greedy, bro. They, they, they... Because, you know, at the end of the day, they'll run some of them little short commercials on there. They just don't want to pay you. And, unfortunately... It's really sad that the platforms do that. Yeah, it's terrible. TikTok started it and YouTube ran with it. I'm just being real with y'all. Screw that. Now, Facebook? I tell you, I tell you who will pay you is Facebook. They will pay you now. Facebook will pay you for your shorts. Tell you that right now. They ain't paying me. They paying people. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. We appreciate you guys' support. Nah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, but it's like, that's why. That's why y'all seeing that I changed it from like 60 second shorts to like a minute and nine seconds or like a minute and 16. Cause you, you know what I'm saying? Come on, let's be honest. 
My food's expensive, man. I love to do it, but I'll be going broke trying. Wait, wait, Virgo, wait, what you talking about? I missed something. Oh, I can't say that loud because I'm always going to make trouble. But what you talking about? What, what um, oh, my wife's boyfriend ran my cast iron to the dishwasher. How should I deal with this dude? His wife's boyfriend? Uh-huh. You got to beat him down on the spot, bro. He did that disrespect you. He's got to get smacked down. You never let nobody disrespect Cat Lion, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, Lord. If we even look at Ralph's uh, cast iron, he has a Oh, don't let that cast iron, now. Nah. Boy, oh, boy. I tell you, man. My wife's boyfriend. So, are we going to see longer videos? I mean, not too, not, not too much longer. I can't get too crazy, y'all, because it's a day and age. And even me, even me, I'm guilty of now. I do, I ain't gonna lie, I do watch some long videos, you know what I'm saying, but like, I don't know. A lot of times I get stuck watching shorts too, because you can just run through one to the next to the next, you know what I'm saying? But I do, I watch long videos myself, but I ain't gonna get too crazy, but I might run them. Ralph's had a mixture on his channel of long and shorts, and then yeah. he kind of just did, sh at first he started with shorts, then he did longer ones. Like, I don't think his longest one was past 11 minutes. Yeah. Ralph likes to just get to the point. And he really don't really do well with the longer videos. Cause he's bro, like, I can't sit there and be like, okay, y'all, you're going to cut this onion up like this. And then I got to hear 92 comments. I almost cut my finger off, which is true. <laughs> okay, it's true. I get it. But I ain't down for it, man. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, ain't nobody trying to hear nothing God. crazy. For real, huh? But I also feel like, let's say, like a recipe takes... You literally might take four hours to do it, and you can't get it down less than two minutes, man. That's not unreasonable. Or three or four minutes, or five minutes. It, you know what I'm saying? Just because mm -hmm. there's a lot that goes in. You can only edit so much. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's hard to get into 60 seconds. And there's a lot of recipes you cannot do in 60 seconds because you just there's, it's too much. You know? Yeah. So it's just all in, in how you see it. You know? He said you have the personality for the longer videos. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just look, I just don't want, if, if it's longer, it's going to be real. It's got to be authentic. I can't be like, all right, y'all, uh, the ingredients on this bag today, no, nah, bro, I can't, I can't do it. I see some people, and it's kind of silly, and I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. You know? Ralph is just very short and sweet when it comes to stuff. This, this is the point. Chop the damn onion and, and, and freaking saute. Like, what else Sarah's like, you going to cut that onion before before I record? Yeah, I'm going to cut this onion. Then I'm going to cut the damn onion, Sarah. So I'm going to tell one medium onion. <laughs> She's like, you gonna do the same thing with celery? Well, yeah, I'm gonna tell him three sticks of celery. She's like, okay. We need more live cooking. Yeah, I know. We used to do them. We gotta do some more, man. I, I like doing that. It's fun. Maybe we'll do one. We're gonna do yeah, one. We soon. haven't done one in a long time. I we think the last do... time you almost blew up the propane tank. Yeah. Because you was beating the oil. It did happen. I, I was I was tapping on the propane tank. And the lighter blew up, and the flame went up, and it blew me up, and yeah, that did happen. Oh, I get on Netflix, bring the southern realness. For real, bro. I'd love to see Ralph on the Food Network with his kids and stop cooking. Nah, I'm going to tell y'all something. They did send me an invite to go be on this uh, here talk show. No, not a talk show. What you call it? What kind of show was that? Uh, Treasure Island? Yeah, yeah, they invited me maybe to be on. No, they didn't invite me. They, they sent me a link to go down there and send them a video and tell them why I should. Or was it whatever? Hey, I don't know what they call it. But it's a, a reality show. And it's called Treasure Island. And they're going to take 100 social media influencers and put everybody on an island right there. And, of course, the winner going to get a million dollars. But uh, I don't know if I'm make the cut. But I did send them my video. So I, might... I feel like if you go on that, it's either going to make or break your... <laughs> Social media platform because uh so you basically get in trouble too much. yeah I'll probably cause trouble but basically what happened is like say like they'll give me a hint and then I go to my social media following I go live and be like hey y'all this is what they told me or I could post it or whatever and you interact with your following to see if y'all can find the next clue and the next clue and the next clue until you get the million dollars bro we need this million I hope some of y'all are smart bro <laughs> this show that I'll be just wandering around five, baby. Huh? Lisa, what you put in the pot? I put some brown sugar, y'all. Some granulated sugar and one cup of evaporated milk. I'm making some pralines. These are some orders I'm getting out, y'all. I hope you make the cut. Yeah, you know what it takes for sure. The Food Network had to show back in the day. I don't know if it's still around, but it was the next Food Network star. Yeah. Is that how you let's turn it up? It'd be fun, man. I guarantee you that, boy. 
So you just mixing everything, baby, that you put in there? Yeah, so I so y'all, I got two cups of the granulated sugar, two cups of light brown sugar, and one cup of evaporated milk. Right now, I'm going to mix it in here up a little bit. I ain't really got to mix it too much right now, just a little bit. And I'm going to bring it down 220 degrees. When it gets 220 degrees, I'm going to put the pecans in, and I'm going to mix it till I ain't shiny no more. I got a video though on how to make the pearl angel. You can definitely check that out. Pecan candy, yes. Good old pecan candy. I tell you, man, that's how, I, like I told you, I made this many years. I survived. This is my income right here. Yeah? Bro, was crazy about it. It's cast iron. Well, I guarantee you, boy. You mess with my cast iron. I ain't gonna be too happy around there. I'll tell you that. Right now. I ain't never watched Cooking Stuff on YouTube, but Ralph is a cool dude, and I don't know much about Southern cuisine. And you <laughs> real interest me a lot. It's most unique cuisine in the U.S. I appreciate it, man. Okay, so Michael, typically, if you're not experienced with pralines, I know this much, yes, you need a candy thermometer, yeah. and you can just keep it in there, just don't want to touch the pot. You don't want to touch the pot. But Ralph's been doing it for so long, he... He's been able to eyeball it, except, except for this last first batch. <laughs> Sometimes, and it's going to depend on your humidity outside. You could get to being good at it, y'all. Like I say, I made a living off this candy right here for many years. You know what I'm saying? I sold hundreds of thousands of these. And uh, sometimes, it just goes bad. I mean, you know, sometimes it won't get hard for you, and then sometimes it gets like this. And this ain't good either, you see? It's kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong. It tastes good if you eat it. But yeah, it's just not the it's not, it's not what I'm looking for. It ain't pretty enough for me. Like, people ordered these on the website. I can't send them this, bro. There's no way. Mm. So we let the kids eat that. We lie and say we made it special for them. Yeah, so his mom taught him an old school way, especially with fudge. You can take a little piece, drop it into cold water, and if you're yep. able to ball it up with your fingers, right? Yep. And that, make a that's ball. a good way of... of and you know, know, yeah. If it makes a soft ball, then you know you'd be good to go right now. But just get your candy to mama. It's cheap at Walmart right now. Boom. Granny's a corn tree. We used to wait for them to start dropping on the tree, eating them straight off the ground. Yeah, damn right. Yes, indeed, man. When you make your peanut butter ones, do they come out more like fudge? Yes. They're more creamy like fudge. Man, I love the peanut butter ones. Well, I'll tell you mm -hmm. that. Man, I might make me some right now for my damn self. They, them mm -hmm. things are good, y'all. I'll tell you that right now. That is good. They are freaking good. The peanut butter ones, man, they're good. They right, really how are. How do we find you in Louisiana? I'm planning plan a vacation soon. I would love to try your food all the way from Alaska, by the way. Alaska. Well, unfortunately, I mean, we could drink a... They're coming. Oh, yeah. I was gonna we say. could drink a beverage together, Brad. The joint down the road down there. I'm in Metairie, which is about here five, seven minutes outside of New Orleans. But I ain't got... We can't... What are we going to cook? I just told you what happened. I was cooking for this. Just joint out there on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> we all got flooded, bro. It was a terrible situation. Um, we could drink a beverage together, though. I think Ralph is cute. He is cute, huh? If y'all, if y'all want to get together, you gotta message me on Instagram, Ralph the Baker, one hundred and one. And I'm always open. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll let me. I get together. It's only uh, I only charge thirty five hundred dollars a drink with me. You know what I'm saying? Ralph. I'm just playing with y'all, man. Y'all don't. Play. Don't tell people that. I'm just joking. Y'all know that. See, to, oh. nah, sometimes I meet people, you know what I'm saying? People blame whatever I have from sometimes from here or there or everywhere. And yeah, we've uh, met we've met or Ralph's met uh quite a few people that came yeah. into town. We're going okay. down the road right there on Metairie Road, that's beverages, you know. It's a good time always. He said good, that's how mine came out. Love the uh peanut butter ones. Yeah. Good, huh? That's how they all that that peanut butter definitely makes them more creamy, no doubt about it. Barbacone fudge is the best. Oh, yeah. Mm, you haven't made fudge in a while either. Ain't Christmas time yet, nah? I still like fudge even if it ain't Christmas. I don't know. Some good peanut butter fudge. Ooh, we need to get your mom to make her fudge. See, when you got the little bitty bubbles and, the, and it's popping and it's hot and they small little tiny bubbles, you gotta wait for them to get big. When it gets big, like lava, like, then you know you shut it down. So, the food items we don't ship internationally. Only like spices and cookbooks do we do internationally. Because they never make it, bro. It's, we've tried it in the past and either like shipping cost is like insane to get it like expedited. And How much I paid still, the other day when I said I decided, oh, I'm gonna do that one right there. How much I paid? $100? Yeah. $100, bro. To ship something from here to Germany? Mm-hmm. 
From here to Germany, y'all, $100, brothers, ridiculous. Yeah. So, and then we've had issues with customs, with food, and them holding it, and then people didn't get it for a while, and it was like, for us and y'all, it just hasn't been worth it that we've experienced. <laughs> but the other stuff, it's well, fine. It's if, seasonings and yeah, stuff, yeah. Seasonings and cookbooks, that's okay if there's a delay through customs or something. There's not wrong with that. So, keep the bubble talk going. <laughs> Love to see the perfect bubbles. Yeah, you got that, the perfect one. You want to see them? All right, so, yes, Michael, gamble. Ralph does like to gamble. Oh, yeah, I'm a gambling man now. Ralph does like to gamble. Sometimes I don't gamble like I used to much. now. I used to gamble, man. I don't gamble like that no more. It's just too, it's, it's can't. Mm -mm. I, don't oh, I don't know. Ralph, have you ever done fudge? Yeah, you damn right I've done fudge many a time. I even did a live on fudge. I've done a video on fudge, you remember? No, that's all I said. Yeah, yes indeed I did. Oh, okay. Big sad. I'll order when I get to 40 guys. Thank you, dude. It's okay. Either way. Oh, they said roulette? I like roulette, but my game is 21, y'all. I love 21, man. But uh, my problem is I never can bet small. I just can't. Because the casino's there to take your money, y'all. So Sarah Day. I go to 21 day where I'm betting minimum. When I first walk in, it's $100 a hand. And if I start to get lucky, it's going 500 and then 1000 Quick. I ain't going to play around on it now. But I've been known to take them down for 30, 40,000 or lose, lose big and quick. So, but that's where you got to get the casino. You got to get them, you got to get them good. You, in time, you lose. You got to get them as fast as you can. Uh, Miss Leslie asks, what kind of candy, baby? What kind of what? Candy you oh, make. Miss Leslie, this is, uh, this is pralines right here. You know, down here in New Orleans, I think they got them other places maybe, but I know down here in New Orleans is big. This uh, so it's pralines with pecans and brown sugar and granulated mm -hmm. sugar and evaporated milk and they're they good. They're addicting. And in fact, Keith asked you to make him a badge before his surgery. I don't know if they're coming back down or not. They ain't really talking before to surgery. Really. I know, they didn't really say nothing to nobody. Yeah, I was like, man, kind of rude. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with them. It's my favorite Southerners. What's up? Cat from Cali. We got Detroit so, in the house. So Detroit. Liam said I would love to try a big crab bowl like you do. We don't get that kind of stuff here in Scotland. Oh, man. I tell you, boy. That's some good stuff there for them bluegrass, man. I tell you that right now. Pool boy. I haven't had that in over three years, Ms. Leslie said. Yeah, they're good. Well, that's why, Ms. Leslie, I put them back on the website and everybody started buying them. You know, Ms. Leslie, you've been around long enough. You've seen Aisa. There was a big seller, but I just got overwhelmed with making too many of them. So I just recently put them back up. And uh, so that's what we're doing right now. That's why we're making them, honestly. Yeah, Liam, I don't know. Okay, so I don't, you can order crawfish. I don't live. You can order crabs live, I believe. Yeah. But I don't know about international. Cause it's like I'm sure next... you can, but it's going to cost some loot, bro. It's going to cost international because it has me next day on a plane. I mean, it's going to cost you about $600 for delivery. It's going to cost you, you about... You think internationally, though? Yeah, I looked the other day. $600. Oh, so they do do it internationally? It was U.S. It was UPS. Uh, next day air, it was $600. No. <laughs> I remember the bling story. Wait, bling story? What bling story? Which one? Which one? I don't know. I don't remember. I got so many stories, bro, and the sad thing is they're all damn true. Half of them crazy. I'm from there. That's a weekend thing we do. Yes. What's up, New Mexico? All right, fat cat. Thank you for coming in. Oh, they want us to say, somebody asked you to say roll tie. No. They trying to get you canceled, Ralph. See that, huh? They trying to get you thrown out of Louisiana. Man, I almost rolled over Big Al, bro. Yeah, we did get to meet. We did get to see Big Al when we was in Alabama. We did. Yep. I talk to Big Al, he told me, just because of me, he might move down to New Orleans, bro. <laughs> What's up, Ralph? Shout out from Baton Rouge, just What's driving up, from Maryland. Man, just chilling, man. Just chilling out. Get oh, the right. diamonds. Lots of diamonds, yeah? Yes, indeed, man. Oh, thank you, Wendell. Very good cook. I'm definitely subscribed. Appreciate Do you guys it. like LSU? I assume not. Nah, we like LSU, man. 
I mean, I don't watch that game. I mean, I watch that game with my daughter because she mm -hmm. loves it, but really, y'all, I don't know. I mean, I watch the Saints, you know what I'm saying? Oh, baby, Michael's been waiting for the bubbles. All right, you see the next bubble. Why you didn't tell me? I did tell you. He said he wants to see the bubbles up close. All right, we're going to show you this next one in five minutes. It's my daughter's first year in college, and I'm from Georgia. That's oh, awesome. okay. And LSU or Alabama? I guess you could just put it cheaper to buy a seat on the air on one way. Make sure you don't uh, get it on you. I can tell you that right now. I love your hand. This time in your kitchen, gotta give me one of those. Now, what the hell am I doing? Yes, yeah, so Chef and Crawfish is way more than, yes, yes, it is way more than buying a plane ticket for sure. Absolutely. Because the cost of crawfish has actually went up tremendously. Well, because now all of us influencers. Everybody, that's, you know what I'm saying? We go online and we show and we, that's what we do. Show everybody and teach everybody. Now, everybody wants to indulge in them, bro. It's not expensive for everybody. Yeah. Up and, then, and I mean, and then shipping, because you have, to, when you do crawfish, if you're going to boil them yourself, they have to arrive live and they're temperamental with different weather changes. You got to keep them on ice and cold and you can't cook them if you did. So, getting them there that quick is uh, expensive. Humidity ain't no bitch for me, y'all. Again, from the poor. What's up, Candy Peterson? Are you guys excited for the Pelicans being in the playoffs? Nah. Not unless they're going to give me Ralph's some Ralph's not big on basketball either. Ralph's not a sports person, really. I'd be more excited to watch... Gordon Ramsay burn some food on live. <laughs> All right, show them those. I ain't touching your camera. That's why I didn't move it. Did you say I do a raggy? You do. I'll show y'all. Oh, Southern University in Baton Rouge. Right. See, I don't know how to show y'all, but hold on, Sarah. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all the camera. Let me figure it out, y'all. Yeah, you can just. I really move. can't see it, though. See him? See what they look like, y'all? Can you see that, Sarah? Uh, I'm not to that point. Because I had to start and stop my life. So mine's behind. I don't know if y'all can see him, but that did look like. Yeah, our angle in here is pretty bad. It's a damn stupid phone. <laughs> All right. All right. I told you guys to come to Chicago, and everyone was scared for you. I told them Ralph ain't no... I go to Chicago. You know what? I can't say we're gonna get in trouble on live. That's all right. We make it they out look there. Like cookies. We survived in New Orleans. We survived there too. Yeah, they, they do. They real good though. They really are. You can't just eat one for all these, you know. All right, that sounds good. Okay. Yep, he's rinsing the pot. Um. All right. Let me catch up on the uh, comments. Okay. Um, hey Ralph, was staying on bringing the boat down through the south, do some fishing, show me some hot spots. Question is, would we be safe? I remember the stories with you on the water boots. I mean, if you Ralph's know, the, if Ralph's yeah, you'd be safe, why not, bro? Of course you'd be safe, everything be good. Uh, you got a lot of speckled trout running right now, white trout running, some nice red fish out there right now, you go right down for Paris Road. Catch some real damn nice fish right now. Wait, hold up. You can't drive no boat. You cannot sink nobody else's boat, Ralph. If I sink it, I just disappear after that. We you all can't... jump on board, bro, and when I get to land, I'm out of there. But what if they don't make it? <laughs> they, every man with himself when the boat goes down. <laughs> you terrible, they, Ralph. They, they, not, don't blame me. Oh, God, you terrible. I would not let Ralph drive the boat, touch Anything on the boat, any type of equipment, machinery, um, motors, steering wheel. What you talking about? Um, damn I wouldn't even let him throw the anchor. Period. Nothing. Yeah, she's a damn liar. Who rolls a pirate? Man, let me show you how these problems are. Hold Y'all go fishing out for pies? Uh, mm. We visited a snow We go crawfishing out there. We go crawfishing now. Uh, Ralph right almost got me killed by an alligator like when we first started dating in the spillway. Ah man, a little alligator popped up. It was crabbing. 
And we was doing like old school crabbing. So like we ran a line from one end to the other. Yeah. And then like you attach the little lines with the uh what do we put on there? Melt? No, not no, melt. No, chicken legs. Turkey necks. Chicken necks. That did look like y'all. That's pralines right there, see? Oh yeah, boy, I guarantee you. If that don't look good, man, y'all mail this to Troy. They said I trust you, bro. Troy, the whole thing crazy. Away. Why y'all trust? If somebody, be all right, man. if somebody, hold on, let me tell for your own safety, okay? I don't know y'all have, I'm sure y'all have family, loved ones, people don't want to see you again. If I tell y'all, this man sunk three boats. No, those are very, very unfortunate situations, okay? I am looking out for y'all. Sarah. You would get on a boat with me tomorrow. No, no, mother... I wouldn't. Now, you... I'd I ride as a passenger. If you was a passenger... Right. Yeah, you a I passenger, did that. I'm drunk. No! Man, I did that with you one time. That did look like y'all. Just look like delicious. that. delicious. Yeah, I'll tell you that right now. Look at that. Look just like my mama's. Yeah. Boston. I'll tell you that right now, boy. That's good stuff. This is funny real quick. Man, sorry I don't know, man. I'm a professional boat driver. Unfortunate that you... Unfortunate situations. It's plural. It's it happened, happened three, multiple times. Three times. The back of the boat fell off. I can't control that. I ain't no and, opening. wait, hold on. I don't even know if you should be near water. He almost got me killed by the alligator. Going crab it, all right? He's like, oh, Sarah. Go ahead, you gotta go hit the line. I've been going the crab. Line, man. So I'm like, all right. I'm like in waist high water. And I'm going to, I ain't never been crabbing like this before. So I'm doing it. And I'm trying to scoop up the crab. And also, I see an alligator like coming like right here. And he's like, Sarah, don't move. And I'm like, come get me. And he was yeah, like, fuck, no, I ain't coming to get you. He's going to let me die. Well, what I'm going to do? I don't know, Sarah. We're going to die together. You don't need me for the I Look, she turned around. I was on the land, bro. Then we went with Robbie on the boat. Oh, he and he, Ralph boat. wasn't even driving. And then they had some kind of like storm coming yeah, and winds. We was in a bass boat in the lake. And late pies to train, almost died that time. I ain't getting no fucking water with you again. You got me cursing on live. That's the way it is, bro. Bro, I'm saying he's a captain of the boat. You gotta What's do what you gotta reach? do, man. Could you make these with walnuts? Oh, most certainly. Definitely, y'all. A friend of mine made them with... You can do cashews, walnuts, peanuts, peanuts any kind you, anything you want, y'all. It's man of death. Come it's a don't embarrass them. Oh, Sarah's just lying, bro. I mean, sometimes y'all you got to let these women tell their little raggedy stories, bro. Y'all know how it is. Oh, okay. So you ain't been telling everybody the story about the pink dolphin taking your boat down? He don't he ain't take it down, story? no. He ain't take it down. He ripped his neck, though. Yeah, he ripped the net and yeah, almost killed you. He spent the boat around a couple of times. Yeah, I ain't gonna forget that story. Don't move. <laughs> I, I mean, bro, up. thank you guys. I didn't know what to tell her to do. She's yeah. like, no, me help. No, I'm the hell. I can't come help you, man. You want me to get in the water? I got a big old, it's not that big. Maybe like probably five foot or six foot alligator. Man, I can't get in that water. I made it to land, man. You better get on out of there. She's like, come back, come back. You remember that? Yeah. And, uh, I didn't want to die by myself. I guarantee you. I wasn't going back in that water. I guarantee you that. She was definitely on her own, y'all. She was most certainly on I warned y'all. I'm just saying. I warned y'all. Y'all getting near the freaking water with him. I don't get it. All right, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to jump off live. Uh, y'all follow yeah, us on Instagram, know y'all. Ralph the Bigger 101. Y'all know we do the live stuff like that on Friday nights. So we might do one tonight. But other than that, y'all, y'all be safe, man. Be blessed. Y'all have a good weekend. Uh, if y'all want some pralines or something, check out the website, RalphTheBigger.com or some seasonings, whatever you want. And uh, y'all be cool, man.